Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. and get the cluster out. We're gonna show you how to get your gauge cluster out and then we're gonna go from there. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is your dash bezel. And how to do that is you just pop it out with a bunch of clips here. Get it down to one. Oh, that's right, I have a switch in mine. I have a switch in mine. So uh, I'm gonna have to disconnect my switch here. All right, so now once you get that off, that's just mine, not yours ain't gonna have that. Go ahead and move that aside, get that back in. All right, so starting, we have a bolt up in here. That's a seven millimeter. Down here as well, you can see that right there. That's a seven mil. And then down over here, you have one there, right over here, and then one up and over here, this area. Now those are all gonna be seven millimeters, so we're gonna go ahead and take those off, and then I'll show you what's behind the cluster for what you gotta take apart. Now there's a connector right here. This is the connector you're gonna take off. You're gonna have your, make sure your truck is off. You're gonna go ahead and take it out. Just like that. And that's what that connector will look like then. Now that we finally got this taken out, we're gonna go ahead, show you how to disassemble this. And we're gonna go ahead and get the soldering. All right, so we're gonna start with taking the top of the cluster apart so that we can get access to our needles to take our needles off. And you're gonna have these clips right here. You're simply just gonna pull those apart just like this. Once you get that off, you can then slide it back. And then if you see here, there's these clips in here. You've gotta get it slid back behind those clips there so you can pull it apart. Just like that. Now I did have to take a screwdriver and kind of pull, push this one in right here. I kind of had to take a screwdriver and push that in to get it out. But here is this. We're gonna go ahead and clean this off, wipe this down before we obviously put it back on. Now we have our needles with our stepper motors and able to take your overlay off, you have to take this off first. Now we have all our needles off and we're not gonna be reusing these. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with them to be honest. Now you see here, you have these little clips here that are keeping your overlay in. You are gonna have to get it out of those. And there we go. It's gonna be the new overlay, but we'll show you how that looks at the end. All right, so next you're gonna go ahead once you get that taken care of. Oh, we got a little mosquito in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. A little buggy got in there. Um, we're gonna go ahead and I'll take the back off. It's gonna be the same process. You're gonna have clips like this that you are gonna have to take off. It is pretty easy, um, just keep that in mind. You're gonna have one down over here now. Then just to put a screwdriver in this, you'll get it off pretty simple, just like that. Now you're also gonna have ones on the back. You're also gonna have ones on the back here, just right here. I don't know if I can see that right back here. Take those off as well. One, two, three, and there you go. Very simple, not hard to do. Now we can take the control board out apart from this divider piece. All right, so now you or anything like that. This is the back of what it'll look like. We actually aren't dealing with this because simply we are not doing our stepper motors. So our main focus gonna be today is gonna be all these bulbs right here. We're gonna take all of these out and we're gonna be replacing them with LEDs. The thing I do wanna tell you guys is that I am
soldering iron and he's got a bunch of different tips that you can use with it all sorts of different stuff he gave us the wick he gave us a solder iron i do have my own soldering iron but since this is so fine work that i wanted something a lot smaller and this is going to be perfect now this gets up to 300 degrees within like one second you guys it's crazy how quick his soldering iron gets up to, to up to temperature um, mine takes a little bit it's a cordless milwaukee one like i said i use that one for larger stuff not necessarily something this small and petite you could say so we're gonna go ahead and get show you how to get these these bulbs off and we're gonna show you how to clean the surface before you have to solder the new stuff on so we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna actually there's gonna be nine of them there's i already pulled one off here there's one two three four five six seven eight nine no i'm not changing these top three just because i didn't get leds for those and these are your indicator lights for your um your orange engine light and all that kind of other stuff so i'm not going to actually do those so here we're just going to go ahead and pop these off for right now and then we're going to have to once we pop these off we're then going to have to go through clean up the solder spot which we'll do that with um a wick we'll clean up the solder spot with a wick and then we'll new a new we will probably end up laying a new solder point down before we put the LED onto it. Now what we're doing now is we're taking the spot where we had pulled those fluorescent bulbs or incandescent bulbs off. Um, and now we're just cleaning up the solder spot enabled before we put on the new LEDs. You're gonna go through and simply you see this down here. We're just taking the heating the solder up we're taking the solder off and then we're going to put new solder down all right so if you're wondering what solder we are using here is the solder numbers that you'll need if you're looking to do this this is really high quality solder that i've been reassured now we're going to go ahead get new points put down for where our leds are going to go before we put them in and we'll show you exactly how to do that now what eric is doing here is he has his tip tinned and now he's just putting new pools down of solder so that way when we go ahead and add the leds that we have a nice new pad of solder there you could say to install these leds with now again like i stated before we are not professional people that deal with computer components all the time um, we deal with them sometimes but we don't necessarily always solder like this so don't you know do your research on soldering there's a ton of stuff that goes into soldering i mean you could spend i mean a whole career on soldering realistically so a lot of respect to the guys that do this all the time we're just doing this because it's a lot cheaper to set, to do this ourselves instead of sending these in. So like I said, keep that in mind for the finished product and what and how we are exactly doing that because I'm sure there are plenty of ways to do this. And let's go ahead and get the rest of these LEDs installed and show you exactly how we're going to set those LEDs back on the control board. So before we get started, I'm going to I'm going to add this graphic to this this video right now um, whenever i get to it i'm going to add this for you guys this is the polarity of the leds the red in the picture when you look at your leds when you get them you're going to have let's see here if i can't focus here let's do this all right so you have a longer one and a shorter one this longer one right here this one right here that is your positive so when you're looking at your polarity of this picture your red is your positive, your black is your negative, and it's gonna have that for all nine, whoops, all nine of your LEDs. All right, so we're gonna try and get you the best view of this, and now all he's doing is that little pad of solder that he had. He's putting the negative on top and the positive on bottom in correlation to what this one is. I do apologize for the camera focus. Um, this is just, you know, a, a standard GoPro. This isn't anything real fancy, so just keep that in mind. And then we're gonna go ahead, once you get it in, you can then straighten it out. And then once you get it in, you can go ahead and make sure you straighten it out and make sure it's on there real nice and good. Now, it, like, like you just saw here, we put little pads on every single one where the polarity is for these LEDs. And that's just a real simple way to do this. We're gonna go ahead and get all these put on and we'll see you in a little bit. All right, so we're coming in here just as we're starting to finish up, we're getting to the last four. Again, this goes really quick. We've already at this point, it, we're not even 30 minutes into this so far and that's including filming as well so this goes really quick you guys it's really easy to do all right one thing i want to talk about for you guys is while you're doing this is it's very important to make sure you're consistently cleaning your tip when you're doing any solder work and that is you want to take the solder off of it 
and then you want to re-tin it to put the solder back on because it's very important that you have a nice clean tin tip and able to make the heat transfers the right way. Stopping in again for an update, Eric wanted to point it out and he should, uh, I should have mentioned it, is when you are doing these solderings, we didn't really notice it until we came over here, is you really want to be careful when you come down here that you don't want to heat anything up over, over here because you could really mess something up because quite honestly right now we don't know what this is. So make sure you're really paying attention to where you're laying your solder down and where your gun is touching. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and put this back together. We're gonna take our control board here, get it back nice and gently in place. Next, we're gonna take that spacer. We'll go ahead and get this installed. Now we're gonna go ahead and throw this in here. Like I said, I apologize for my technical terms. I do not do this. This is 100% DIY by myself and Eric. We don't know exactly 100% what we're doing, but you know what, we're doing it. We got our LEDs in there. You can see right here, we have one out. Wow, look at the light. You can see our LEDs are chilling right in there now. We got a bunch of them on one, 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 two on here, two on here. So this right here is my old one. That is what my old one looked like. I'll give you a nice, before photo here and now here is the new one as you can see here it's a completely different overlay it's really nice i'm a big fan of the 20 40 60 80 100 120 um, i know a lot of people don't like that but personally i do like that as well as you can see it fits perfectly right here with all the spots that you've got to push in so now go ahead and get this pushed in for your new overlay just like that very simple again i cannot iterate this enough um we're not even we're probably about 40 minutes into this now i'd say all said and done we're going to be an hour into it with filming so obviously you can easily do this by yourself without filming and editing all that kind of fun stuff um you can easily do this i'd say within 30 to 40 minutes realistically if you take your time go ahead and do everything that oh yes that is a good feeling right there you know exactly what i'm talking about now here we go. This is the new overlay with my plastic sticker off covering that. We're gonna go ahead and get our new needles on. All right, so here are our needles. These again, like I said, they're gonna be black bases with a white needle. These are white LEDs, so I'm kind of going with a white color theme here. Get these on, push them in. So like I said, you're just gonna kind of push it on real nicely here. You'll feel, you won't really feel it to be honest with you. You're not gonna go, you're not gonna feel it. It only goes in a little bit. So if you look at your needle, it's only gonna go in, geez, what is that? A quarter inch. So keep that in mind when you are installing this. And then every time I put one on here, I'll show you guys what I do. I kind of push it on with my, I kind of put three fingers on it. I push it in nice and strong and then I give it a nice little tug to make sure that it's not pulling out or make sure that I got it in there real nice and tight and it's really that simple you guys I can't express how simple this has been um, I thought it was gonna be a lot harder than this if I was 100% honest and it's really not at all now we're gonna go ahead throw our face back on just like that. And I can tell you, I am extremely excited about it because man, that looks good. It may look basic, it may look simple, but I think it really looks good the way it is right now. If you noticed, I was able to put this in. I forgot about to put this in before you put your overlay face on, um, but I was able to fold the overlay face up and put this in by itself. So now the excitement comes of putting it in, getting it back installed, making sure everything works as it should. This is a big step and hopefully it's all taken care of and we don't have to take it back out. Hopefully we didn't damage a stepper motor. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get it plugged in again right away. I don't know if you heard that. So now before we do anything, I'm going to turn the truck on to make sure everything works. As you can see, we luckily didn't mess up any of our stepper motors. Well, we're gonna keep it around. We gotta drop our shifter down to get this back in here. There we go, just like that. Get the shifter back up. Now, it's very simple. Those four spots that you took those bolts out in, one up here, one down here, yada, 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 over here and down here. You're gonna go ahead and put the bolts back in and reassemble your dash. All right, again, we gotta get our dash back in here. So I had a switch in here that I've gotta rewire. All the way down to one. Oh, I kinda of looped that around there, didn't I? You're gonna have to get your shifter back down to one so you can get this around it. 
line everything up that it needs to be lined up. It's not that hard at all. It's easy to take out of the dash. It's easy to put it into the dash. It's easy to take it apart. And the soldering aspect of it is really not that hard. You just really gotta pay attention to your stepper motor so that you don't mess them up. And even if you mess it them up, just order new stepper motors in case you do do something wrong and you can replace it at that time. None of mine were bad, none of them were broken. So that's why we decided not to do it. And I'm very, very happy with it. If you follow me on Instagram and TikTok, you will see the night version of it. I will also put up a YouTube short, how it looks at night. I'm very happy with it. I'm really happy with the white needles. I'm happy with the white LEDs. So watch out for those videos on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube shorts. You guys will see that shortly. Have yourselves a great night. Check out Wednesday's video when we're gonna be dealing with kind of a little issue that we've had um, recently on the channel that you guys maybe have seen. And it was a frozen hood latch. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to take care of that, how to do, deal with that. It was a little frustrating at the moment in time, a little hiccup in my head as to why I couldn't figure out how to do it. But you know what, it's very simple. So pay attention to that on, on Wednesday. Thank you for the support. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel. Have your saves a great night and we'll see you guys in the next video.